and it did look really dark and not like a great idea to jump it. I can't see. Yeah, bouncing every time. What are you doing? And uh, I kind of got tired of rolling. Evans down to the top. Yeah, he overtakes Parsons here. Patrick Evans. Big whip looks all the way back. Easily the most improved rider this year and maybe the best. Are you doing ramp banners? I'm breaking a banner. We're going to Arizona Bike Week again. Jake's not going, so it's not going to be as entertaining on the ship, really. But oh, yeah. I can still go. There's still time. What's stopping you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Stand alone. I. This guy had a goatee for sure, right? Huh. His entire career. He had, like mutton chops. <laughs> like, like the weird, like. For sure, still has a goatee, guaranteed. Guaranteed go team. <laughs> Me and Waka went to Bike Week last year in Arizona. There's bearded women, there's midget wrestling, uh, there's usually some pretty good bands. Last year it was Megadeth and Billy Idol. This year it's Godsmack, but still be cool. They're kind of almost done setting up. I'm pretty worthless at helping, but I try my best. Uh, Vince is here, luckily, so that makes it way easier. And Wacker's got it pretty down to a science of like hydraulic stuff. Even though the old metal ramp might be a thing of the past, we're still innovating over here at ERA. Yeah, dude, you guys are some of the few guys who will actually still jump to one When they were trying to figure out who would jump out here, they're like, well, it's God Smack, so no. <laughs> So. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little nervous to hit it on the start. The ramp to ramp's always really scary, and then doing it for the first time makes it, you know, that much worse. We had a couple good days of, of some really fun shows, did some flips on the ramp to ramp, did a flip knack, I was stoked. Uh, and then the weather kind of came in and ruined some plans. Forgot to tell him to cancel the air show. Uh, we have Gale Force wins now. We got through one show that was really sketchy. It looks like the other shows today are probably not going to happen. What's up? You can take pictures? Yeah, take like, try to. Do a really bad job. So if you go to the Arab website right now, what, what do you find there? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, it's basically me saying you can't get anything at the moment. Aramoto, we might make graphics maybe sometime. Oh, I'm here, dude. I'm jumping dirt bikes with you. How am I supposed to make graphics? We're not dead. We're just not there. <laughs> so the biggest show of the trip was pretty much 8 o'clock at night, and it goes right before the headlining band goes on the stage. So it was, we were at 8 o'clock, and the band goes on at 8.30. I don't know what band's playing right now. Whoever's opening for Godsmack, 7 o'clock. Uh, we're gearing up and about to go ride. Uh, the lights really aren't that great per usual shows like this. <laughs> but... <laughs> Wacker's trying to makeshift a little bit of light so we can actually see the belly of the ramp. 
Um, usually the setups are pretty sketchy for these ramp to ramp deals. You know, it's not like X Games where we're trying to be like the best athletes and do the craziest tricks. We're just trying to put on a show for everyone. They're trying to make it as convenient for the promoters, the event. So sometimes you kind of deal with like not the sickest setups. Looks like something you buy at the store. Wacker's makeshift light actually worked perfect and uh, we were looking pretty good for the show. But then uh, at 8 o'clock, right when the show starts, our landing light was apparently on a timer and it shut off. And of course the light goes out on the landing right as we're about to start. This will be an embarrassing one if we can't get that going. Unbelievable. 8 o'clock, lights out. Somehow like the light was like locked or something and we needed someone to come unlock it so that we could actually power it back on. The problem was we only had 30 minutes until the band started so we were kind of in a really limited window to make it happen. Sketchy and dark. I went over and looked at the back side of the ramp and it did look really dark and not like a great idea to jump it, but I felt kind of bad that everyone was just sitting there and uh, I kind of got tired of rolling around. I try. I, I can't hit this thing anymore. I can't see anything. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe it. That sucks. Jumped it twice. Uh, I cased the out of it both times and uh, decided that wasn't really a great idea and I would stop. I kind of like jarred my neck a little bit. But at least I gave the crowd something. No more of that. Shit. You got like real money to be made in a yeah, couple yeah. months. Don't, don't, don't nice risk that. <laughs> I, want, I cannot right. jump it. We ended up getting some really good shows in the next day. Uh, the Sunday crowd was actually awesome, so it was kind of good to get some redemption. But after that, it was time to load up again and head back home. The sketchiest part of the weekend might be taking the ramp down. Hydraulic, hoping this doesn't kill somebody. Oh boy. That's it. Is that oh. It's also super sketchy because it's really easy to break the ramp if something goes wrong, so it's kind of stressful for a lot of different reasons. Vince knows he used to have this ramp, right? Yep, yep. You fold the thing in half with the hydraulics if you <laughs> mess up and forget something. Then there goes the weekend. Yep. some weather, we had some wind, there's a little bit of drama, but uh, all in all, Arizona Bike Week was super fun again, and uh, it looks like we'll probably be back there next year, so hopefully we get some good bands again.